I teach a lot of beginners in Drupal. In fact, here at OS Training, some of our most popular courses through the years have been our Drupal beginner courses. Right now on YouTube, our Drupal 8 beginner course has almost 4 million views. And so when Drupal 9 came out, well, of course, we created a new course. You can get to it over at OSTraining.com. But I want to share today with you one of the best tips I ever give to Drupal site builders. Hi, this is OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Thanks for joining me today. And as I mentioned, I want to share one of the best things we actually give people in our Drupal 9 Explained class. And here it is, the Drupal site building workflow. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can build a Drupal website. And I don't obviously have time to go into each of the elements here on the screen. But one of the things I want to mention is that there is a best practice workflow when it comes to doing Drupal site building. And of course, it starts with content types. Content types are everything in Drupal. If you get that wrong, well, then you might as well just go and use a different CMS. Once you decide on all of the content types and the kinds of content you've got, well, then you add the fields, taxonomy, your media, and any modules you might need to support those content types. Then the next two are kind of interchangeable. We suggest doing paths or using path auto to create those patterns and then building out your permissions and workflows. And literally you can do those interchangeably, but we do recommend doing permissions every time you build a content type not waiting till the end when it's really, really much harder to do. And of course, I've recommended in other videos that I think every site should use workflows. The next one is layout. Now, let me talk about this just a little bit. With your theme in Drupal, you can add your theme at any point, but this is generally a pretty good time to do it or even before this, but around this time, if it's ready, the cool thing is, of course, you don't need your theme completed to do Drupal site building. And so if it's not ready here, well, that's fine. Continue on, do your layouts, add your blocks, your layout builder, your views, get your site ready, and then add real content. All along, you've probably been using Devel to generate some fake content. Now it's time to pull that out and actually build your real content, again, with menus, and defining how you're gonna do site management. Well, that's it. That's our site building workflow. You're gonna see variations on that all over the internet and from different people you talk to, but this is the one that we promote in OS Training. It has helped so many people and I hope it's been helpful for you today. Well, this has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We produce a video every week. We'd love for you to subscribe. If this has been helpful, go ahead and like, and we'll see you next time.